Our next company is Beer Capital Distributing Company, Incorporated. If you've ever had a sip of Miller, Coors, Pabst, or Sam Adams beer in southeastern Wisconsin, then you've sampled some of the products that Beer Capital distributes. This Sussex company has grown to more than $172 million and 375 employees. Founded in 1981, Beer Capital Distributing has acquired other beer distributors and additional brands over the years to become the largest beer distributor in the state of Wisconsin and the 22nd largest distributor in the nation. Please welcome Beer Capital Distributing CEO, Aldo Madrigano. Aldo. Aldo Madrigano. Um, beer Capital is in hand-to-hand -hand combat every day with a, a competitor who shall remain nameless here. But uh, every tavern, every nightclub, every restaurant, and every festival is at stake every day. So my question to Aldo is, how have you, how have you continued to be different than your competitor to gain sales with your customers? Um, sure, before, before I start, we, be, uh, because of the two Italians on this end of the group, when you announced Century Fence and the prisons and you looked right at us, we were a little concerned about that. Yeah. So uh, we want to let you know we've never seen a prison fence, sorry. Uh, but I like Century Fence. But other than that, into the beer business. Um, Do they serve beer in these prisons? or? If, if they were in our market, they would be fine too. Uh, um, we do. It, it, the, first of all, I have to thank my, uh, my employees who have been phenomenal and have not only went through changes like all of you go through in your daily lives of business, but uh, my partner Mike Merriman and I have done five purchases in five years, so it's been an interesting, uh, interesting group of melding people together. Um, but the real note of why we do what we do, we, we represent 31 different breweries with 400 different labels, so I'm sure there's something out there for everybody, and we hope that you all enjoy them on a regular basis. Um, but our business really starts relationship. My grandfather, uh, not sure if it was before Prohibition or after, but I'll say after Prohibition, um, he borrowed a truck from a local priest to pick up his first load of beer in Milwaukee. And the reason we got started and have done so well over these times is we're such a relationship business. Unlike a lot of businesses where you can go cold call on any other kind of business that's out there or multiple municipalities or whatever it may be, ours are regulated by the state and the federal government by who has a license. So our people truly need to be the relationship and a business builder inside each of those stores or restaurants or nightclubs that you all go to. Uh, we have a great group of customers. There's 4,000 of them. We love them all, and we're happy that they're there. But without that relationship and building, and you can't build that relationship without knowing that you give back to the community. Our uh, company is very, very much into making sure that we give back what we've taken out, and uh, the communities have been very, very, very good to us over time. So we, uh, we appreciate everything they do. I think as all of you know in business, it's, it's hard to serve one master, let alone sometimes 31 of them. Uh, but uh, as the newspapers will report, uh, we're here to tell you that there's, uh, there's a lot of choices out there for all of you, and our people want to make sure that you can get any kind of beer that we have. Um, it's been fun for me uh, looking in the room. There's people in the room that have worked for us over time and have went to run their family businesses over time, and uh, it's uh, been gratifying to us as business owners to see that and see Waukesha community grow from that end. So we hope that we were part of the growth of Waukesha and the Business Alliance and everything going on. Thank you, Aldo.